How am I spell? How do I spell monast? Oh my god, dude! I was, I was, I was struggling. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Good luck. Have fun. I'll go Delhi again. Just because I wanted to play that match. Nice. Man of Honor. Man of Honor team. Man of Honor. I've got um, I've got two new sets of keycaps coming, which I know keycaps. It's like Ben, that's not the most interesting thing in the world. I know, I know, but I'm interested in it, team. I'm interested in it. All right. And I'm I'm currently in my brain being like, well, which ones do I want to use? And I don't know. I don't know. I suppose it's kind of fun to test them out. We'll plonk this here. Actually, you know what? This is kind of an annoying map for dealing with um, French. Now that, now that I think about it. Just because your wood line is... You get this natural one, which is kind of nice and close, right? But then... Uh, the other one is pretty far. The other one is pretty far. Maybe I should have gone to his side of the map for the sheep. Just because I am Delhi. Didn't need to worry about sheep at all, really, on my side. Just to deny him of getting them. But I got enough wood for all my buildings early on. <laughs> and now the next thing we're doing. I got the lumber camp as well. Get the forestry nice and early. Didn't need to get it. Because we're not actually gathering wood at all. But it's one of those things where it's like, earlier the better, I suppose. At this point, do I start gathering wood or go for the big old Beratam? Questions, questions, questions. I'll try, I'll try the wood. I'll try the wood approach. So, nice and early for him. Four workers thus far. Not too crazy. Is that first stone already? Ooh. Ooh, I like it. I like it, team. So that implies to me... I'll check on that gold again at some point. But that definitely implies to me that uh, we're going to have some... Uh, not really a knight play. Maybe more a... Uh, Looks like more just an expo play. Could be interesting. Now, the way that I'm playing, I did start the wood gathering fairly early. And forestry will finish now. Means our wood gathering goes up a tiny, tiny smidge. Lots of relics over here. That's something we certainly have to think about. Certainly do. And I'll check on his gold again, because that's uh, pretty damn pivotal, honestly. Pretty damn pivotal. Oh, 
Just three on stone so far. Any on gold? So he does have enough for a single knight here. Just one. That's not too scary, is it? But the rest go onto the stone here. So there will be a knight on its way. Good to know, good to know. I'm actually so tempted to put that there. But I think I just want to get a, uh, a barracks first. Like this. You know what? Textiles is so damn good against French early on, I would say. So damn good early on. It's one of the last things you want to be doing is worrying about your workers getting pwned against French, right? So if you can kind of remedy that, definitely helps a chunk. And we know he's going for an expo, so it's not the... Um, It's not the most aggressive play from him in the world. We also know it wasn't that many um, thingamajiggers. Knights. It was pretty low on the gold. And we can put this like this, because we've got quite a lot of wood going. I think I'll get, um, in fact, I'll play it proper weird here, I reckon. Proper weird. Let's do it like this if we can. And by proper weird, I mean I'm going for like the melee upgrades first. That's gorgeous. Gorgeous macro. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Yeah, welcome to one of the reasons why this map can be uh, quite obnoxious. It's a French player. Okay, we will uh, absolutely get out on the map now. You know what? Maybe I should have had a... Um... A stable might have been very cool. But it's nice to have these walls up. Obviously. I'm getting a I'm gonna get a good bit of revenue here. Nothing too scary thus far. Uh, we'll go plonk this in the uh in there. Make 
So there is going to be a fight. I don't mind my army so far, though. Don't mind it so far. We do have plus one uh, ranged armor. It's good. And you know what? I think we can actually take this on. Uh, I do, I do. Fairly smooth, actually, taking that on. <laughs> now, I do reckon he's going to keep on building up. As are we. As are we. But we're kind of close to getting all our upgrades is primarily what we were after this game. Now this is obviously a bit risky over there. But I think I can actually plonk that in there now because I've got a l In fact, is that enough speed? I worry too much about the spearman number being too crazy, I reckon. So what has he got? Nine. I like my army better. I think my army is better. Especially with the Tower of Victory kind of uh, situation going down. It's just strong. I gotta say, this all went pretty damn well. Pretty damn well. Like, to be able to um, force a, uh, a French player on the back foot like that is exactly what you want to be able to do. Exactly what you want to be able to do. Uh, no. You're gonna make that wall, homies. Yes, you are. And you know what? I'm starting to become a house of learning believer. Maybe. Mm. He's obviously healing a lot here, but I'm not really too sure on what I can exactly get done against it all, to be fair. But as I am um, getting ready to grab these uh, sacred relics, the relics even, sorry. Ooh! That was uh, a fun one. Oh, 
Okay, soon I won't need so many on the uh So we're going to do a super push here, is what I've uh, hopefully going to get going. The super push. Now, if he had some, uh, like, spearmen with this, I'd be a bit more worried. But given that he doesn't, I'm not as worried. Actually, I don't think it's that scary. That's obviously where he would love to put a keep, isn't it? Where he'd love to put a keep, team. Now, these are veteran archers, actually, so they're strong. Strong lads. And they got the Tower of Victory buff, so super damn good. Got some crossbowmen at the back here as well. And given that uh, we're in pretty damn solid financial shape, we'll just start making uh, a few farms at the back there. While pushing the ever-living crap out of him. Having one knight on there will stop the gathering from all those villagers for quite some time, so that's what I'm going to go for there. Oh, my gold is actually fairly low, come to think of it. Fairly low indeed. Um, let's sort that out. Building up an army of crossbowmen here. Crossbowmen are they're just a solid unit to have, aren't they, in your mix? Just solid. Oh, that's good to have a little stabbing over. 
And with the crossbowmen. Oh yeah, I wish that zero would. Oh, that's good, that's good. Wow, no textiles. He was a greedy boy. I might actually come to think of it I might go for a, uh, a big old uh, keep on the far uh, left side I'm not sure if it's entirely necessary just yet but might be kind of fun I, it, it wasn't exactly deliberate. I actually thought he would have it uh, like walled off and stuff, but he kind of walled behind it. So for a long time, I was like, All right, let's foc let's do a good amount of focusing on this position. That's what I thought to myself. Am I winning all fights without even looking? That is the advantage of being uh, having a bigger, better economy, I suppose you could say. And now we're pretty rich. So we'll definitely make sure to get our uh, food situation a little bit better than it is. Because, I mean, it's not bad, but it could be better, could be better. But yeah, having some keeps here, there, and everywhere, fabulous, fabulous. That gold income, beautiful, lads, beautiful. What is this wall here? I can't fill it up. Hello, hello, hello. Yeah, his feudal was a long, long, long time. So I'm imagining that he's going to put like a keep up here now, but not a hundred percent convinced about what he's going to do exactly. I suppose. But this was a beautiful position for a keep here, wasn't it? So that's what I'm guessing. Now, my archers are better than his archers. But... But that isn't saying too much, I suppose. Considering that his army looks pretty damn good. Looks pretty damn solid. Alright, that's a lot on food now. I, I think... Actually, I feel like my economy is solid now. I do. I um, I would love to put a... Um, a 
keep in the middle. Now, he does have a lot of archers, actually, but... preferred this fight for me quite a bit more, I think. I think so, but we'll see. Oops. This is Louis? Could be Louis. I'm not actually sure who it is, so... That's annoying. Mm, so yeah, that was the perfect place for the keep that we spoke of. Whoop. And we'll run this way, and then that way. Because, yeah, basically, I would love to get all the upgrades I possibly can here. This is kind of how I've been playing recently in this matchup. Or when I say this matchup, with Delhi in general. With Delhi in general. So it's like, uh, let's just... Let's just get everything. Oh, he's got a trap. And here, I'd like to get um, a few upgrades. What's this? Oh, it's actually nice. Get all these upgrades flowing. Get all of them flowing, team. 99 workers. Not bad, not bad. This takes about three minutes to get. Not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. We'll get uh, the burning arrows on this one. And I'll tell you what, we'll get a good amount of... Uh... Oh yeah, they heal now. Or they always have done, but I uh, often forget it. Come on, let's go, 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 let's go,
Oh shit, is that a red palace? I think it is. I know I don't actually need that. It's more like a uh, just making sure that we're not. Ah, uh... oh, that's the red part. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, okay. He remade it. I think he thought it was a bad location for it. Might have been right. This might be a bit crazy, but maybe it's going to work out for him. Maybe. These knights are pretty good. Oh my goodness, they're so fucking good. What the fuck? Well, that might be GG regardless. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh my goodness, team. Oh my goodness. This was... That was Delhi perfection, team. Delhi perfection right there, you know? So we had a, a, a couple of keeps over here, yeah? It did take out this keep. But I mean... I I wasn't... This wasn't a game where I was fighting for Sacred Sight victory. I actually felt that we were probably going to win regardless, but... Bloody hell. That, that felt... That felt really strong, actually, the way we played that. Like, it, at no point did I feel super weak or anything, which is kind of funny. And, I mean, this guy's a good player. I, I think it might be um, Lua. But we'll have a look at the eco. So we've got 2k more food. He's got a lot more wood. He went probably more archers than me. We've got a bit more stone. Fairly close on the eco, and he was 2tc for a very long time this game. And we... Oh, can't forget we were age four with all the uh, elite upgrades. Mm. Definitely an interesting one. That felt exceedingly solid.